Okay, so we know that the reason the dredger is out is to clear the sandbar, the channel in here into the uh, harbour. But here's a picture from 1930s of a ship that was stuck. So that was in 1930s, but uh, it didn't stop then, it's still going on. 1967, the catch is stuck on there. Here you go. So that was 1967, the catch also stuck on Timoth Sandbar. Um, we're looking down at that building there. I'll zoom in on the there windows. Those two windows. Got to step out the road now. And of course, this was not here. That was the Morgan Giles. So here we go, 1974 at night. Morgan Giles from about here. But I do have one of the. Uh, breakwater as it used to be so hopefully you'll see it now there we go that's what it used to look like in my lifetime anyway i remember that now it's just destroyed never mind how about 1985 here we go here's a train in 1985 Things of note, the top of the yacht club has not been built, it's still the old shelter. Here you go. So that was 1985, just here. Lovely. Straight into the then and now. 1965, used to have the boat stock at the beach for people to go off on cruises and, you know, little jaunts around the bay and I believe this was the Restless here we go so that was 1965 before the groins and when like boats like the Restless would pull up at the beach and you jump on and go off for a spin that's our real life local fisherman Wes who was in an advert on TV for a bank at some point, being like an everyman, if you know what I mean, in the background or casting his net. I think I got a, might have a picture of when they were filming it in Sheldon. If I can find it, I will put it in now. We're up here by St. James's, and we're going to go into walk along Bitten Park Road to line up a then and now. Now, this used to be called Bitten Street back in the day, before they built the uh, road down through the centre of town, etc. and messed everything about. But we're looking over there at that green frontage of what was a shop once upon a time. Let me line him up from the other side. Okay, may not be exactly here, but near enough. Sort of line up the windows, and that's a similar frontage. But here we go in the 1920s, Sharabang. So if that isn't exactly here, it's not a million miles away. Like I say, Bitten Street, which was called that before they built that road and the street came all the way through and those flats obviously weren't there because they were built after the places were bombed out in the war here's the white heather the princess mary and the sea bell all docked at timbeth on the beach waiting to take people off for a ride date unknown Yep, don't have a date, but that's the names of the boats. Absolutely certain on that. Also says Facebook. <laughs> 
pavilions and I noticed something on the floor or in the paving that I'd not noticed before. I've got to try and find it again now. Where was he? Ah, oh, there we are. A time capsule buried here to be opened in 2115. So, that set me thinking. I wonder if I can find out what's in it. And I couldn't, unfortunately. They didn't want to give me any information online about it at all, but I did manage to find a newspaper article about it. So here it is now. So that was a newspaper article about the time capsule that was buried here in 2015 to be opened in a hundred years time. I'd love to know exactly what was in it. Go for a quick then and now. Okay, why not? You're twisting my arm. So, looking down here onto the beach, I think we're looking about the 1930s possibly. That's my guess anyway. Got some, hut, not huts, but tents on the beach where people are bathing. Here you go. So that would have been around here with the pier in the background in the 30s. And while we're talking about the pier, I had a bit of a crazy one come across my desk last night. I've got no reason to disbelieve it, but it's one of these ones where you just got to take my word for it. In the 1900s, we know we had a pier here, and it was a little bit more than the jetty in the 1800s. But uh, what was on it? Well, apparently, at the front here, there was actually a fruit store, a fruit shop, called Lanes. And um, it would have been around here. So imagine you come up the pier, and instead of playing a fruit machine, you buy your daily fruit. Here you go, here's a photo. I say, Lane's Fruit Shop outside the pier in 1900. If you remember, I did a 1900 photo of a fruit shop at the pier. Well, I haven't been able to get into all details of that, but I have managed to find a 1926 picture of crowds outside the pier showing uh, shops and stores in the background. Some of the names you can read. So I've got to line it up. Anyway, 1926, crowds outside the pier. Well, there we go. Certainly looks a bit different, doesn't it? On to the next one. Okay, so straight into the next then and now. Um, not so much a thing, but more a personality. Our local traffic warden in the town, Les Brockwell. Um, he had a very fierce reputation. He was even ended up in one of the national papers being branded as Hitler. And that's not a, not a joke, you can look it up. And um, in 1986 he retired and he decided instead of giving out traffic tickets he'd give out Christmas cards. So it's about here the car would have been. You can see in the background there that wall, make that out. Here he is giving out a Christmas card in 1986. Right, we're going to head up, head up home now. Getting wet enough as it is. It's that big building right up in the centre. That used to be the fire station. Got a photo of it, but we will uh, get up a bit closer and line it up. Here we go, Old Timmouth Fire Station. That's where it was. Some of the lamp posts are gone, but pretty much remains the same. And of course you can't see the houses behind because the uh, trees are grown up. Well, I've noticed the blue houses across the road. This is just to give you some context with the, like the little sort of uh, porches over the balconies, you know. Right, let me line up. Right, so you can see there's a little lay-by there. 
This is why I say it's a confusing picture. It's an older bus pulled into the lay-by. You can see the top of the houses there in the background. But it's a 2016 newspaper cutting. So the bus is older than the photo. Here you go. Not new to have the wall being repaired though. Here's a photo from 1859. I think it's when they were building it to begin with. All these slabs have been put in. Here we go, 1859. Sorry for the quality, but it's very old. There we go, 1859. Along here somewhere.